Well, some new information this morning in the Blade Runner murder case out of South Africa. Oscar Pistorius is checking in with the police there to discuss the terms of his bail agreement. The Olympic track star remains free pending trial in the shooting death of his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. He claims he shot her by accident. Greg Palcott is following the story for us live in Pretoria, South Africa. Hey, Jenna, Greg? we are outside the home of the uncle of Oscar Pistorius. This is where Pistorius has been staying since he was released on bail on Friday. Over the weekend, the uncle is quoted as saying Oscar is going through a, quote, living hell. I'm going to step aside and allow my cameraman, Pierre, to zoom in and show you what his view of hell looks like. Through those ornate security gates, you can see the massive brick mansion, lush trees behind, and I can tell you a gorgeous view of Pretoria beyond that. We watched a couple hours earlier as an SUV rolled out of there. Black cloth across the back windows. We believe Pistorius was inside. He went off and his lawyers to a meeting with officials here in the city at which those bail terms we now have learned have changed. Instead of going to a police station twice a week until his trial in June, a corrections officer will come here once a week. Now, it could be argued that is to better check up on him. Still, it saves Oscar Pistorius a few trips. Meanwhile, Folks here are still talking about another twist we learned about this week in the case. It turns out Pistorius' brother Carl faces the equivalent of involuntary manslaughter charge. According to the police, he was involved in an accident in 2008 in which a woman motorcyclist was killed. His lawyer told me he's innocent. The first appearance in that case, though, was last week as one of the days his brother was in court facing that charge of killing his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp. And... One more strange twist in this matter. It turns out that the aunt of Oscar Pistorius, get ready for this, is a top murder profiler in South Africa. She used to work with the South African police. Now she's on her own. The speculation here is, Jenna, that she won't be officially involved in this case. Back to you. Some interesting dynamics there. Greg Palcott live in South Africa. Greg, thank you.